Hello, my name is Luciano Oliveira. I am a Brazilian attorney and today I'm going to be answering this question. What is the process for reversing or canceling a transfer if a mistake is made when sending money to Brazil? Well, it depends on first uh, if it is an app or if it is a bank that you're using to send the money. If it is an app, you're probably going to just send a message through the customer service channel. If it is a bank, you usually have more channels like you could just basically call your bank, you could use your internet bank system to send a secure message, or you could send an email to your bank branch manager, right? Uh, in addition to that, it also depends on where you are in terms of the remittance. Have you just made, like, have you just entered the data, right? If you just entered the data, uh, there is probably time for you to reverse the transaction, to cancel the transaction. However, if the transaction was completed or you, it is close to completion, most probably you're not going to be able to revert the transaction, particularly after the money is disbursed, right? Disbursed. I think it should be common sense. You can call your bank and say, you know what? The bank was released to the recipient. Now I want my money back, right? It doesn't work like that. I think this should be... Uh, common sense. Now, uh, something helpful for, for you to understand, if you're sending a large transfer, particularly uh, through a bank, and you send this transfer and this money doesn't arrive in Brazil, uh, the recipient bank in Brazil says, I don't have the money. Uh, the source bank, that your bank that sent the money, they also say, oh, the money was sent. I don't have the money. And the money seems to be in this kind of limbo state you can use something called recall, recall, that's the name, that's the word, and uh, you know, it depends on, on the bank, but you basically say, listen, I wanna cancel the transaction, the transaction was not finalized, this money is not showing up at the destination bank, so I want to recall the money. Now, something very weird, like we, we've seen that happening more than once, particularly with Chase Bank, if you, if you walk into a Chase Bank branch and you tell the branch manager, listen, I don't know where the money is, can you help me? Uh, this bank uh, branch manager doesn't know how currency exchange works, they're going to call uh, the currency exchange back office and they're going to exchange information, they're going to try to trace it, everybody's going to waste a ton of time. But if instead you just go to the cashier, directly to the cashier, you take your receipt or you take like a bank statement and you point that transaction to the cashier and say, cashier, I want to avoid that transfer. I want to recall that transaction. The cashier is going to know exactly how to start the process of reverting the transaction. And as a result, in a day or two, the Chase Bank or another US bank, as long as you ask for the recall, the bank is going to get in touch with something called intermediary bank that's where usually the money is stuck at and tell the intermediary bank listen we don't want to hand we don't want to affect this transaction transaction anymore just send the money back to us and then the money is going to go back to the sender bank right i, I hope this was uh, some helpful information uh, if you have a, a question about this team feel free to ask this question below Follow us for more tips on currency exchange and I hope to see you in our next video.